Every living organism on the planet requires sleep, even if it's only a few hours per day. Sleep is an essential component of human health, and sleep deprivation can have a negative impact on how we function in our daily lives. With these essential tips for improving sleep quality, sleep expert Matthew Walker emphasizes the importance of sleep. Does sleep matter really? The simple answer is yes. Adults require 7 to 9 hours of sleep per night, teenagers 8 to 10 hours, and children aged 6 to 12 require 10 to 13 hours. How many of us can say that we or our children are placing in the required hours? In the United States, 35.3% of adults report sleeping for less than 7 hours per night. People who don't get enough sleep are more likely to suffer from one or more of 10 chronic health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, depression, and cancer. We also know that sleep is essential for learning, but two-thirds of high school students in the United States get less than 8 hours of sleep on school nights. So, what are the benefits of sleep? Well, sleep scientist Matt Walker's TED Talk takes us through some fascinating sleep science and makes a compelling case for making sleep our new priority. Ooh, and stick around till the end for Matthew Walker's tips for improving sleep quality. Let's get started. Why is sleep important? Sleep helps your brain to function properly. Your brain is preparing for the next day while you sleep. It's forming new pathways to assist you in learning and remembering information. According to research, getting a good night's sleep improves learning. Sleep improves your learning and problem-solving abilities, whether you're learning math, how to play the piano, how to perfect your golf swing, or how to drive a car. Sleep also improves your ability to focus, make decisions, and be creative. Sleep deprivation also alters activity in some parts of the brain, according to research. Sleep is essential because it allows us to physically heal, recover from illness, deal with stress, solve problems, consolidate memories, and improve your motor skills. A good night's sleep is defined not only by the number of hours you sleep, but also by the quality of that sleep. And REM sleep aids physical recovery. There are two types of sleep that are required. Non-rapid eye movement sleep, or NREM, and rapid eye movement sleep, or REM. And REM sleep allows your body to relax and fall into a deep sleep allowing you to wake up feeling more rested. It can aid in physical healing, illness recovery, stress management, and problem solving. And REM sleep is also important for memory consolidation and can help boost the immune system. REM sleep bolsters learning and memory. REM sleep affects your mood, memory, and learning efficiency. Getting enough REM sleep can help your brain regulate the synapses associated with some types of motor learning and improve recall and memory consolidation. This is the sleep phase closest to wakefulness, and it's during this phase that we dream the most. Matthew Walker, a sleep expert, has some tips that help you sleep better at night. 1. Create a routine The internal clock of your body follows a specific sleep-wake cycle. Going to bed late one night and early the next disrupts your circadian rhythm. Attempting to catch up in lost sleep or sleep deficit over the weekend may not always be effective and may result in physical and mental exhaustion. As a result, sticking to a daily sleep schedule can be extremely beneficial to your overall health and well-being. 2. Cut the late-night cardio If you're tired in the morning, your late-night treadmill workout could be to blame. For some, a late-night workout or intense yoga session too close to bedtime can make it difficult for the brain to relax. Try to complete heavy exercise 2-3 to three hours before going to bed. 3. Reduce the amount of alcohol you consume while alcohol can help you relax before bed, drinking too much of it can contribute to self-deprivation. Alcohol deprives you of REM sleep, which your brain requires for optimal restoration. Heavy alcohol consumption can also impair your nighttime breathing and make it difficult to sleep. You tend to wake up multiple times even if you don't remember doing so. 4. Eat light at night When it comes to late-night eating, small snacks are preferable to large meals, which can cause indigestion and disrupt your sleep. Avoid drinking fluids a few hours before bedtime to avoid frequent bathroom trips in the middle of the night, which can disrupt sleep and lead to sleep fragmentation. 5. Reduce your intake of caffeine and nicotine Caffeine temporarily blocks the signal from adenosine, a critical sleep chemical in your brain, but still accumulates. This accumulated adenosine eventually breaks through, resulting in a dramatic crash, which often occurs at inconvenient times. Another stimulant, nicotine, can cause very light sleep. 6. Discuss your medication schedule with your doctor Some heart and lung medications, as well as over-the-counter cold and allergy medications, can cause sleep disruption. If you're having trouble sleeping, talk to your doctor or pharmacist about whether your medication is to blame, and if so, whether you can't take it earlier in the day. 7. Allow time to unwind 
Make a relaxing routine for yourself before going to bed, such as reading, listening to music, or doing light stretching. Matthew also suggests keeping a worry journal to help you process difficult emotions before going to bed. 8. Baths are ideal It may seem illogical, but taking a hot bath before bed can lower your body temperature once you're in bed, as well as making you feel sleepier and more relaxed. 9. Check your devices at the door Consider the ideal bedroom to be a prehistoric cave somewhere in the Great North. Cool, dark, and devoid of technology. Change your phone in another room, get rid of noisy electronics, and get rid of the alarm clock, which can make you hyper-aware of every passing minute. 10. Get some sun Exposure to natural sunlight for at least 30 minutes per day can help you regulate your sleep patterns. Aim to catch those rays in the morning, which can help you start your day with more alertness. Also, before going to bed, dim the lights to avoid disrupting melatonin production. 11. Avoid lying in bed for too long Lying in bed for long periods of time, hoping to finally fall asleep isn't a bad sleep strategy, but it can make you anxious and frustrated. If you do anything in bed other than sleep, your brain will associate it with being awake. If you are unable to transition into wakefulness after about 25 to 30 minutes of lying in bed, get up and engage in a relaxing activity until you begin to feel sleepy. Throughout your life, sleep is critical to your overall health and well-being. Getting enough quality sleep at the appropriate times can protect your mental and physical health, as well as your quality of life and safety. How many hours do you sleep per day? Tell us in the comments. Bye and have a nice day.